Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a slightly different video. I'm going to be bringing you along as we replace the wardrobes in our bedroom. This is a very small renovation that we've been wanting to do for a really long time because the wardrobes we have aren't really fit for purpose, or at least not how we want to utilize our closet space. And uh, they're just a little bit broken as well. The drawers in particular on Luke's side aren't functional except for the top one so it's made things very difficult for him when it comes to actually trying to store some of his clothing uh, there's also a missing rail that's broken but yeah we just really wanted to make it a little bit more practical for us and for our lifestyles and how we see ourselves using it the other thing is that it's got two sliding mirrors which only cover two portions of the wardrobe so there's one part of the wardrobe that's always exposed or open and we'd like to have it completely enclosed so yeah, we have uh, designed a wardrobe on the IKEA website, it's pretty simple. We've purchased that, um, it is arriving tomorrow. So today the jobs that we're going to be doing is removing everything from the closet and then Luke is going to start dismantling the current one that we've got in here so that we can <laughs> replace it with the new one. I'm not sure whether we're going to have it all done this weekend, might be something we do next weekend because tomorrow is going to be 25 degrees and I think... I think both of us would probably prefer to just be outside enjoying the sunshine as opposed to cooped up in the house. So we aren't really too fussed if we have a work in progress in our bedroom for, you know, a couple weekends. It's not really a big deal. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put the camera on. I'm going to have a before and after so you can actually get a really good sense. Um, I'm, you know, I can't really say I'm that excited by the look of the wardrobes right now and you'll see they're pretty messy. I haven't tidied them up or anything like that to make them look nice for this video. It's all very real life. So yeah, let me just grab the camera. So no doubt you kind of will have seen this in the background of my videos and you just have to excuse all the mess on our side tables and stuff. But yeah, this is my side of the wardrobe. We've got the suitcases up the top there. Then I usually pop my jeans and my sweaters on that left hand side. I've also got a drawer for my knickers and socks and things. And then I've got my tops, jackets and skirts. And then also, <laughs> hello, uh, dresses and things down here. Maybe I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing today as well. Um, I'm wearing a tank from Totem. This one I've had since the start of the year. Uh, really nice and soft. It washes incredibly well for anyone who has been asking. So I have received that question a little bit. Cardigan's my Aunt Other Stories one, which I've been wearing all the time. Jeans are old from Grana and I am wearing shoes. I'm wearing these slides oh, from Miss Solo. Okay, so so I'm just going to start pulling everything out of the wardrobe now because after that Luke's just got to test out what tools he needs and then we'll finally start deconstructing this closet. <laughs> making use of the bed a little bit so I've popped all of my sweaters and things here because I'm probably just going to do a little bit of a capsule wardrobe over the next sort of week and a half until our closets are sorted. So I finished emptying the entire wardrobe which was a huge job especially because I still don't have somewhere to put everything so I have kind of got and you probably see behind me this rail which has not just my stuff on it but also Luke's clothing and then there's some things which I know I'm not going to wear in the next week I mean that's also way more clothing than I could wear in a week which I have popped into a suitcase I am also in the process of I've just been KonMari folding up all of my t-shirts so one of the things that I wanted to start doing once we've got the new wardrobe is to have all my t-shirts folded rather than hanging I've identified a few things that I wasn't really wearing these are all of the excess hangers from my side. Over here you can see the, uh, what's this? This is a suitcase where I've been packing stuff away. And then I thought I'd just show you the state of our spare room. So I have this other rail. This one is from Ikea. The other one's from Freedom, but it's old. And on here I've just put some of my jackets, all of my dresses. Um, I'm not really sure whether I have a chance to wear any of those. Um, 
but they're a lot of them are too long for the other rail and then there's just some my jackets luke's jackets luke's shoes which when he likes a pair he buys them in multiples and then i also need to hang up all of his shirts and things not that he's wearing them at the moment as he is working from home so maybe i'll give you a quick look at what the wardrobe is like now that it's completely empty and then the next home i see will probably be once we've started to pull it out and here is a look at the wardrobe now that it is completely empty you probably get a better sense of the fact that it is a bit broken there on the side on luke's side for the drawers which was just a headache for him really and also the railing here had come out this was broken so kind of meant he only had access to one rail whoops <laughs> i actually feel as though that middle section there that vertical panel was also a little bit wonky which i never really noticed before yeah so this is all going to be gone very soon which i am very pleased about <laughs> days after Luke initially ripped out the wardrobe he made sure that he took his time with uh, building the actual shell of the wardrobe so that it would all be level um, just so that we didn't run into any issues when it actually came to putting the drawers in and the doors on and that sort of thing um, so yeah now there are actually wardrobes behind me which is incredibly exciting um, I will overlay some footage essentially of a uh, I think I've got some of what the space looked like without any wardrobes there. So there's just a little bit of uh, MDF on the floor, which is actually what we use as a base to put the wardrobe on so that we can anchor it not just into the wall, but into the floor as well. Um, and you will be able to see that the previous owners, when they were putting in that wardrobe, they actually drilled into the um, crown molding, well, the molding on the ceiling essentially, um, and cut holes in there. So one of the things that we do need to do, and it won't be as part of this video, uh, is to create a bit of a frame that'll sit around the wardrobe so that it looks like it's a built-in. Um, that's sort of the next job that Luke will have to do but I thought rather than drag this out completely I'll show you what the wardrobe looks like in this space and then in my regular weekend outfits videos when it's all done I'll show you the com I'll show you what it looks like then <laughs> when it's sort of all one with the wall <laughs> but after that um yeah like I said he spent the second week uh, so the following weekend he built the carcasses or the frames of the wardrobe so uh, we did use the ikea pack system and then today he constructed all of the drawers and popped them all in and we've also put the doors on as well um, so really the only things left to do are to put handles on the doors and then fill it up completely i don't really know whether it's worth me putting anything in the wardrobe before he's put the handles on but i'm wondering Hang on, I think I can open it with my foot. There we go. <laughs> I can give you a peek on my side. So I'm gonna have the one on the right just because we've um, decided to switch around so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea at the system. Hang on, let me just. So we have shelf at the very top, which is where a suitcase is going to go. Then there is one hanging, oh, one hanging rail. Then there is this glass shelf pull out tray which will have the organizers in here so I can put things like belts sunglasses that type of thing then there are three of these deep drawers and then one of these funny mesh drawers at the bottom which will probably house workout shoes that kind of thing and then the other one I'm actually going to have to also have the sort of longer hanging wardrobe as well which has just the one drawer at the bottom and then another mesh drawer and then luke's got the exact same setup as me and his side of the wardrobe so yeah pretty great really to have so much space so not a lot left to do now which is incredibly exciting so i think maybe after this what i might do is show you a bit of a before and after once i have filled everything up tomorrow
Monday now and the wardrobes are all complete. Luke's just finished putting the handles on just now. They look so good. Um, I have started putting things away and actually last night I put all of Luke's items in his side of the closet and then I just started kind of populating mine as well and figuring out where everything was going to go so i thought i'd give you a little look and then after this i'm going to show you a proper before and after before wrapping up this video so let me just flip the camera around and mind the mess but this is what i'm wearing today i finally succumbed to that birkenstock life <laughs> so here we go i haven't put all my clothes in here yet but this is just what it's looking like at the moment what i am loving so this top drawer is pajamas and knickers then in here all of my t-shirts and singlets and things are now all folded up, which was what I really wanted. I've got all of my knitwear, well, actually not all of my knitwear. I've got some in our boys' nursery as well still, um, but my jeans and things are down here. More knitwear over there. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to pop in this bottom one. I thought maybe I could put my running shoes and possibly jeans depending on how much additional space I need for knitwear. So we'll see how we go with that. But yeah, it's looking really good. So let me now show you a proper full on before and after. wardrobes i hope you enjoyed coming along the ride for our little uh, mini renovation as i mentioned at the start of this video we will kind of be finishing off the top part as well and i'll just share that once it's done in a week in outfits video but thank you so much for watching i really did i really do hope that you did enjoy this and i will see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye mm -hmm.